<laughs> and the horse you rode in on. So, spoiler alert, um, because in 343 Guilty Spark, Captain Keys literally caps himself in the head, uh, you don't play the level Keys. You just go straight to the finale. Which is what we're doing here today, guys. Whew. Welcome back to Cursed Halo. And what is possibly my favorite mission and pretty much all of gaming. The most nostalgic, um, goose bump inducing mission. Mm. We're not gonna make it. It'll hold. Look at the flap flap. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> oh man, I've been playing literally all day. All right. We need to get to the bridge. From there, we can use the captain's neural implants to initiate an overload of the ship's fusion engines. The explosion should damage enough systems below it to destroy the ring. Oh, I've got dual pistols. Oh, heck yes! Alright, we wait. Now the room is clear. See there? Easy. Alright, now, calm down. Let's, let's talk this over, guys. Alright, they're all dead. Checkpoint done. I'm getting checkpoints again. How does that feel? Oh my god. Oh, hello, gentlemen! Gentlemen, hello! Snarker, no! No, Snarker. Please, dear lord. Not the Snarker. Anything but the Snarker. Oh no! Hey, checkpoint done. Wow. I don't know what this feels like. So many checkpoints. Oh my lanta. And some camouflage, and some more D20s. Oh, baby, just give it to me. Oh, it's so good. I'll get that in just a second. I'll let them blow up first. Perfect. Perfect. Voting done. Oh, this is so much easier than usual. Well, well, well. Oh, hello. Pardon me, guys. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hello. I put my kill shot on his back, my dude. Where's my kill shot on his back? Why is it not giving it to me? Okay, that works. I was very confused and upset. What you give me, game? Oh dear. That room's gonna be troublesome. Troublesome. Hmm. 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 No more nades, huh? That's a darn shame. Look at my dual pistols. <laughs> Goodbye. Fools. Hello, Mr. Hunter. I have to be careful. The uh, bullets actually ricochet off of that death cube.
Ring around the rosy. He's faster than I am. But not as alive as I am. Checkpoint done! Oh, game. Hello! Welcome to class. Didn't realize it was your first day. I keep throwing grenades, maybe you'll kill yourselves with it again. That worked out great last time. Oh, I'm gonna burn all my pistol ammo. I need to get rid of these freaking little grunts with the rocket launchers or the fuel rods. No, no, no. No, no. Some pistol ammo. Oh, I hate, I despise that it takes separate ammo than the... Uh, I'll swap for that once it runs out. It takes separate ammo than the suicide pistols, also I'd have ammo everywhere, pretty much. Oh dear. Man, the grenades, they are really just throwing them out there, aren't they? Well, I think we have that. This has no ammo, which is bizarre. Um, <laughs> I lost my triple plasma somewhere in the in the scuffle of grenades. Um, I don't know where it went. Oh, I found it. Now you shall die by my word. I've been listening to a. Uh, well, I'd say a lot, but like I've been listening to the Witcher audiobook. Ow, they stuck me. And uh, what was I saying? The Witcher audiobook and Peter Kinney, the Witcher, the Witcher audiobooks. I'm like one, two books from the end. I'm one book to finish the series, but there's actually a prequel that sh that he, excuse me, wrote that takes place before the series, and so I will come back and read that because you're supposed to read it last to have enough context where it actually means something to you. Um, that being said, uh, Peter Kenny does the audiobooks on Audible, and he is not only great at the voices, which he very much so is, but it's I think it's the definitive way to listen to that because a lot of them are um, words that I would probably not be able to, like he does like the Elvish and stuff and everything, he's very good. But anyway, there's these knights errant that uh, everything they say is like, by my, on my word, or like, by my word. And he's it's just very, um, it's great, honestly. It's very well done. I love it. And everything is forsooth or pox on it or whatever. And it makes me really want to write um, some more Onward into Darkness stuff and use a bunch of this highfalutin, convolutin, Language. Because I think it's interesting. Are these just chilling grenades here? Oh, sure are. Thank you much. I will take them. Oh, dear. Terrifying. You must die. <laughs> yes. Oh, and it only gets better. Oh, and it gets better. Am I a, is there not any more frags in here? There were a ton of frags before. Surely there's some more, don't call me Shirley, but surely there's more frags. Upon my word. A pox on it. All right. Shall we begin? Pack it in, pack it up, pack it in. Shall we begin? You made it. Let's get to work. Pardon you. No. That's what I thought. Ah, are you alive? Impolite. No! Dang it. Where are we at? Where are we at? All right, we're good. We're good. Okay. Okay. I was so used to not having checkpoints ever that I would just immediately assume that I was boned. 
He just suicide bombed like his entire squad. What a swell guy. No snarker. God, it's been so long since I've had to deal with a snarker. You know, that's actually like the saving grace last mission is that there weren't that many snarkers. I had worse time dealing with snarkers in like mission two. Because last mission, honestly, it wasn't hard. Like, no part of it was ever hard. I always had pretty good guns and, and flood are easy enemies, to be honest. Oh, checkpoint done. I just didn't have checkpoints. So every time I died, um, I went back, you know, like six steps, essentially. Which was not ideal. Alright, so... If you watch the cutscene for this... They break the glass, and then you don't have any cover, and they melt you. If I'm not mistaken, if you skip the cutscene, the glass stays. Yep. And you can actually use the glass to hide behind. Or you can just be like me and just get the heck out of Dodge. <laughs> get to engineering my way to the cryo storage facility. Well, that was actually a full sentence and not anything bizarre. That was a big explosion. But they're still alive! That's a lot of them. Oh, I heard another. Okay. Where did it give us? I don't see it. Oh, it actually gave us a flamethrower! Oh, man. I'm very... I can always get another, um, yeah, that's fine. I can always get another, uh, battery rifle. I'll carry a flamethrower for a while. Oh, oh, look at all the canisters, too. That's tasty. Yeah, there's all these battery rifles in here. I'm good for now. Why am I- am I burning? I set myself on fire, question mark? I tried to kill myself? That didn't do what I wanted it to, but you know what? It gave me something good somewhere, question mark? Oh, hey, look, health packs. That's great. I kind of want to just leave them be because I don't need to worry about them. But also, what if I burn them? Do they die from fire? They sure do! Note to self, fire kills hunters. Tank beats ghosts. Tank beats hunters. Tank beats everything. Oh, Halo 3. What a good game. He knocked me into the... Oh! He knocked me into the death cube. That was very, uh... Unfortunate. Yeah, boys. Anybody else? There were a couple. Anybody else want a taste of these nuts? Yeah, that worked. Good news is, final level, you don't necessarily run out of ammo. Which is pretty great, if I had to say so. There's a ton of grenades back there. If it chain reactions, they should be dead. And they're sure not. So that's a thing. Good to know. You know what I can do is just not care about these guys and go about my way. See you later. Ah, oh, yes, it is the first mission, but backwards. I love it. I love it so. Oh, I do not love these gentlemen. Excuse me, pardon me. Well, that didn't do what it should have. That did, though. Excellent. Hey, pardon you. 
Silly Sally. So was this a gun that it spawned? No, it just it's just a gun there. Okay. And I think this is on legendary guys. I'm just that good. I'll get killed immediately, I'm sure, but I mean, you know, I had to say it. Spin up the gun. Pardon you. Don't want to blow up here. Pardon you. Sir, do you mind? I gotta use some grenades. Hey, checkpoint done. Man, checkpoints are nice. Guys, do you see what it feels like to have checkpoints? Oh, man. Checkpoint done again. Oh, this is the best. Well, that looks familiar. But it doesn't. It's interesting that it's... You take the exact same route. I guess this is your cryo? We were in cryo... We were in this one, over here. That's the one we were in. So we crossed over and jumped through and went that way and blew up and stuff. But now we're in this one. So I guess that makes sense. Ow! Unfortunate. That man dr dropped on me and hurt me. Hey, can you go up the ladder? I guess I can't. All right, hold on, guys. There's a health, there's a health pack back here. I'm just going to go grab it real quick. Don't worry. Do some of the flood music. Part on. Wow. It go boom. Ooh. The, uh... Audio there was seriously crapping out. So I'm running a little ha haphazardly. I was trying to see if there were any grenades across the floor. Like these are cryo bays? Question mark? Because they're sure not. I don't understand what that's supposed to be. Goodbye and goodbye. Goodbye and good riddance, good sir. Now then. No, this is the safe area. They come from this way, and there are a lot of them. I got some more D20 frags! Oh, what's the chance on me gonna be? It was a bomb, it blew up, it killed everyone! I was too close. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So this is what I meant to do. You should just be able to run in here and go past all of them, because they're busy with each other. Excuse me, sir. Ow! Yeah, note to self. Meleeing those hurts because they blow up when they hit the ground. Oh, excuse me. Don't you dare jump through the floor, you silly billy. <coughs> excuse me. I know, I know. It's the Rona. That's surely not, but it's okay. I actually had a possible exposure last week, but, uh... Nothing came of it, so that's good. I was not a lot around him for very much time, and I was masked, and all of that good stuff. So, and I've been doing well. But it just about shut down like half the job sites. So that was pretty scary. And also too, like just showing the kind of person that I am. My first thought was like, oh no, I have so much going on next week. It wasn't, oh no, I'm gonna get sick and go to the hospital. <laughs> it was like, oh no, work. I'm so busy at work. I can't afford to be sick right now. Not even like money afford, but just like I'm so busy with responsibility wise. I've got like three projects kicking off in the same week. And if I get sick and have to miss, it'd be hard to back me up, to be honest. I'd have to like quickly get someone up to speed on them. Not to ch yank my own chain here, but I'm just saying. Stuff that I've been planning for months as all all three of them are kicking off at once. And so uh, I need to be there. And I've been basically just living it, you know, either I go to work and I sleep at home and that's all that I do. I don't go anywhere. I don't do anything because I want to stay healthy and make sure that I can do what I need to do at work. Because we have this big project going and I am in a place of somewhat importance and I appreciate that role greatly. Ow! So I think, I think this mod, I think the best thing about the mod, between, like I, I love the death cubes because death cubes adds such an interesting element to the game. 
I love some of the guns not being functional because then the enemy, enemies kill themselves with them and are not uh, effective with them. Like, I love that kind of stuff. But I think the most interesting thing that genuinely mixes things up more than anything are the D20 grenades. It's just that that random element that it could be almost anything and it's either helpful or it's certainly not or like it just it makes it so good it makes it fresh to where it's not just the same thing every time and especially some of these sections playing on legendary where i get stuck um i just throw d20s until i get better guns or i get some item to help and that's that's how you do it the amount of times that I've walked through areas with invisibility that I should have had to clear, but but I just walked through it. I mean, it's it's tremendous how much that changes the game. Uh, having these D20 grenades, like that one there, just spawned a warthog, so that's interesting. Um, I feel like this is a terrible idea, but I think it's also hilarious. It's probably gonna break the game in some way if I had to guess. Hold on, wait, let me, let me check out, check, check, chickity check out around here. Well, there's that way, but like, what about this open door over here? Are they still coming out of there? I guess they are. How about another frag? Ooh, that was a little boing there. I'm going to run back here for a moment. Thanks. <clears throat> Oh, there's a nice plasma bukake. What was down here anyway? Just dead end where they all spawned at? Yeah. Oh, overshield. What? That's very nice of them. Now, how far can I take this hoglet before just being so ridiculous that it breaks everything? Probably fairly immediately. I know the camera is already hating this. Hey, pardon me, sir. I already killed everything over there. Are you just like an infinite spawner over there or something? Or are you just, just standing all standing back up? I've already killed you, people! Oh, my gun blew up. Oops. Give me your battery rifle. Thanks. Appreciate it. At least there's a ton of these things around. I appreciate that greatly. Well, you people... I guess they're just standing back up because of all the infection forms? Like, what do I need to do to you? Just shoot you that much more? I guess. Cheese and rice, dude. Oh, can I... Can we make it work? Oh, it's gonna be close. I don't think we can do it, guys. I tried. I really did. Can't say I didn't try. We're getting out of here now. Pardon. Ooh, that hurt a lot. All right, not ideal. Ooh, that's gonna be back before the, I haven't gotten a checkpoint in a bit, have I? Oh wait, I got one here. Ooh, very nice. I like it. All right, sorry, Hoglet, we gotta go. All right, so this time, instead of going out that way, we're gonna take this way. I'm gonna go out in this room over here. Oh, it's blocked, but there's Grenades and a health pack, so that's cool. What if we go out this door instead? Pardon me. Ooh, grenades and things. What is this? What is this room? Just a grenades? For no reason? Alright. Wow, there's some serious crap going on here. Wow, there's some serious junk going on and I love it. Hope they all kill each other. <laughs> oh, glorious. Oh, Snarker, no! Or do you just keep spawning? What is your deal? Do they just keep spawning? Checkpoint done. Good. It does! They keep spawning! Alright, I gotta get out of here. Pardon? Hey, dude! What's up? Excuse me.
Oh, I'm dead. Bye, cruel world. Yeah, I was like, the snarker will get me. Could use some more grenades right about now. Pardon. Oh, the snarker is going to kill me. Also, the grenade. That was a thing. Okay, well. Hey, picked up 40 rounds for double pistols. That's nice. Why is there this? I was like, what? That's going to be there every time, too, because it's right here where I spawned at. That's kind of funny. Pardon. That man hit me. Didn't appreciate that at all. Hey! Get out of here, you snarks. No! I'm dead. These snarks will kill me. Freaking snarker, my dudes. Well, that worked. Armory. Where's the invisible man in here? I know you want to kill me. Yeah, there you are. That's what I thought. Not today. I know this game too darn well. So, we have to have... Ow! Cheese and rice! This was unexpected. Not gonna lie. I forgot there were so many invisible ones. And then I spawned... Swordmen. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Pardon, sir. Is everyone in here dead? You better be. I'm about to go through some very painful stuff in this game. All right. Here comes my favorite part. Actually, the Warthog run at the end is probably the best. Light fuse, run away. Start the countdown. The only remaining option is to detonate the ship's fusion reactors. Mm -hmm. That should do enough damage to destroy Halo. Okay. Don't worry, I have access to all of the reactor schematics and procedures. I'll walk you through it. First, we need to pull back the exhaust couplings. That mm -hmm. will expose a shaft that leads to the primary fusion drive core. Yep. Can do. Good. Step one complete. We have a straight shot into the fusion reactor. We need a catalyst explosion to destabilize the magnetic containment field surrounding the fusion cells. Use mm -hmm. I recommend a grenade or rocket. If you run out of explosives, there is an armory station located near the engine room's entrance. I need the flood to fight the sentinels, please. I'm gonna be real busy with the rockets. Analyze 
stabilizing. Fusion reactor number one destabilizing. Oh, Shiza. That should be enough to trigger a wildcat explosion of the engines. Pardon. Gotta make my lap again. Hold on, guys. Is there not health packs right here? Where are the health packs? I guess they're... Are they not here because this is legendary? That's seriously not polite. Oh, I should have left him alive. He would have just murdered himself. Which is pretty funny, actually. Where am I? I didn't know you could get up here. Good to know. Yeah, that's super impolite there, dude. I don't appreciate that at all. Okay, well that should have helped. Of course to mark, exclamation point. Oh, cheese and rice! That didn't work. All right. Round two. Fight. Engine room located. We're here. Health packs are like way over there on the ground. Alert. It's bizarre. I did not remember that. Okay. This will take a few tries, but uh, I have the formula down. I just have to make it uh, happen and not die. Not dying will be the key. Mm -hmm. Cheese and rice! I don't remember this from last time! I blew myself up essentially with grenades, but I did not recall that huge entourage of flood. Engine room located. We're here. There's always like, I don't know, some part of it being engineering okay. always like has all made me feel good because I always wanted to be an engineer. Well, not always, always. Childhood dream was like engineer that drives a train type engineer. And then somewhere in, in high school, I was like, I'm creative. I want to be a writer. Uh, and then my father was like, hey, you can be anything you want to, son, as long as it ends in engineer. Civil? Electrical? Mechan no, it only must be a mechanical engineer. Anyway, um, so yeah, so then I took up so I wasn't really, I was kind of like, haha, yeah, whatever. And he was like, no, but you should get a real job and you can do your hobbies on the side, which is kind of what I ended up doing anyway. But essentially what it came down to was uh, I had an English teacher that I sent all my stuff to and was like, hey, please let me know like what you think of all this, and she never did. And then the following semester I took physics, and that was like, oh my god, mind-blowingly, like, I love physics. Uh, so that pretty much set me on my course. So that was a thing. Yeah, so the health packs are over there, but I don't need one currently, I wouldn't think. I think I'm okay for right now. Do I have to hit that one again? I guess I do, don't I? Okay, so I can't trigger two at once. I have to do one at a time. Which is just unfortunate because I fall to the ground but in between. Um. Oh, wow! What a throw! Oh, unfortunate! Wowie, wowie! Owie, zowie! That was, uh... Pretty great. Thankfully, it's Curse Haler, else that would have just murdered me, no doubt. What are you doing up here? There's flood everywhere! What a little maniac! Why is there a covenant in here? What are you doing? Sir! Don't appreciate that at all. Hey, excuse me. Pardon you. I've got things behind me, so I really can't let you stop me. Oh, Snarker, no! Oh, I let my gun blow up. Ooh, that was painful. Give me gun! Nice. Oh, and a D20 frag? Ooh, I like it. See, next time I will definitely get health, because I actually need it now. Oh, I heard an oh no, that means the frag detonated. Ooh, hey, how about you not do that ever again? 
wherever you went with your shotgun. Hopefully off the edge of the world. Hello! Perdon. Is it just... Alright. I haven't played Legendary in so long. Is it just an infinite spawn? Because, like, I keep clearing this stuff and they just keep coming. So does it just keep spawning on Legendary? Like, is there no, like, clearing these rooms? You just have to work your way through it? Because that's kind of insane. You know what I'm saying? Kind of insane. Hey, pardon you. Oh, hey, pardon you. How about you not do that ever again? Did it not go off? Oh, it didn't do it. Well, that's a real shame, Marini. Hey, checkpoint done. Oh, no, I did get that one. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool beans, 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 cool beans. All right. <laughs> Full health. Now we go right back up. So I'm saying this I this mission is probably the one that I've played the most out of the whole game. Well, this is the first mission. But like I just I genuinely I used to play this mission like once a month or something at least. You know, like I just this was my favorite. That was my go-to. Why are you here? Nah, I don't think I will, to be honest. She's gonna cause me enough problems later. Unfortunate. Nice. Good checkpoint. I like it. You actually have to go up on this side, because if you go up the other side, I believe it's blocked. Um, so you actually have to go up here. Like, have to, have to. I got two D20s. Oh, he was killing himself. I should have just left him alone. All right, Mr. Shotgun Man. I know you're up here. Yep. See you later. Why is amongst them, why is there just a, a, a freaking grunt that seems to be on the same team as them? That I don't understand and don't appreciate, to be honest. Did he stick me? Pretty sure he did. Yeah, that was super dead right there. Great. All right, round whatever, fight. I almost rather it's Sentinels were still alive so they could be killing them. Like Sentinels, do your job, fight the flood. Leave me alone. I I genuinely enjoy like I think one of the more interesting things is whenever you're playing and you're part of a conflict, but like you're not like you're not in but you're kind of in between both sides, you know? That's super interesting because it allows you all these opportunities to kind of run between and kind of skirt the enemies and be like, oh well they're fighting each other, let's go around them. Like, I, I like that a lot, where that where you run up and you're like, oh, the AI is fighting itself. Alright, I'll leave him to it. I'm dead, by the way. Yeah, snarks. I think that's a super interesting mechanic. I kind of want to write that into one of my... Uh... Orn in the Darkness things. I don't know what game that would be part of, though. There's not many games that let you be like a, a third party during a conflict between two other parties. I guess one of the best examples would be... Um, oh, I'm trying to think. There's a part in... I guess it's, it's, it's one of the Halo games, right? Halo 2 or Halo 3, maybe? Uh, where, like... The Covenant of Fighting the Flood, but like you're also there, so you end up fighting them too. That's the kind of stuff that I like. Like, there's just one team that fights everybody, and you just have to kind of deal with it. Alright, well it was actually something good, so that's not great at the moment. Yeah, let me kill them first. What was the thing that I got? Oh, freaking snorkers! 
cheese and rice with the snarks, man. Nah, I'm good. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, game. Game okay. I'm dead. Cheese and rice, dude. All right. See, like, they just keep spawning. I can't even clear them out. I'm trying. Like, Dad, go on trying. I guess every time I run back, they respawn? I don't... I don't know. I'm confused. I'm confuzzled by... Oh! Please give me that! Dear Lord, no! I thought I had it! Oh, unfortunate. Let's just see if we can get some, some good stuff with that. I don't know what that was. Uh-oh. <laughs> that was like the best part of three, when you actually had to kill the monitor, finally, after him trash talking you for like three games. It's like sweet release. See why okay, that's gotta be just a thing with his mod. There is no way in the base game. That there is one grunt standing there killing you alongside the flood and them not killing the, the covenant. Like it, that kind of thing is not a thing until Halo 3 where they're like, hey, you're the enemy of my enemies is, you know, my friend or whatever. Like they wouldn't, they teamed up with us in 3 because we were going to, you know, they wanted to blow up all the stuff. They don't realize that right now. The flood has no idea right now. I mean, I don't think the whole con like the semblance of the grave mine. So I don't think that was a thing. I mean, obviously, it was nowhere mentioned in Halo One. I don't know if it was still a. I don't know. I need to read into the lore a little bit more. I guess to see when grave mine was officially kind of like a grave mine existed on Halo Two, or if it uh, if it originated on One and somehow got across. Like, I don't. I don't know. I would assume that all the flood perished on on Halo One after you blow it in this mission. But I don't know that. I just assumed. Because they wouldn't have had any ways to get out. You know what I'm saying? Unless they they stole, like, the Truth and Reconciliation or something. Because remember, that was the whole thing, is that we were doing this whole... Like, they were trying to make it... Um, oh, wow, okay, game, thanks. They were trying to make the Truth and Reconciliation uh, repaired in the mission keys. They were trying to repair it. And so they had a, a strike team sent in from the Covenant to try to disable it before the Flood could get it off the planet. So they had keys for it. They actually had keys as the, uh, essentially the grave mind, um, to fly the ship out of there and it would have gone straight to Earth, pretty much. Um, so that's a thing. See, like, why is this one punk here? I don't understand. New anime, One Punk Man. Picked up some clipazines. Get out of my way. Make way. All right. Hey, hey you. You don't do what you're doing. Good job. Oh, hello, pardon, sir. I didn't see you there. Oh, what? Oh, hello. Good day, sir. Oh, cheese and rice, dude. Ow. No! Unfortunate. Did I get it? Oh, 
I did not get it. All right, well. Um, unfortunate. This is not the right way to go, either. Pretty sure. Hello! It's spawning me garbage! At this point, I actually need grenades! Oh no! Is right. All right. Round whatever. Fight. I don't know of anything that can actually help us here. From the D twenty, I don't know of anything helpful. Um, invisibility, sure. Um, nothing weapon wise, though. Honestly, I can't think of a single weapon that would be. Anything it would give us that would be good would just drain like immediately and be gone. So I don't, I can't think of anything I would want. All I want is this freaking battery ever because you, you constantly pick up. That's what the game, the game is very well, very well made. Halo 1 is, is such a good game. Um, and that they're very much like, hey, instead of making you run out of ammo every two seconds and make you have to run back to the armory or, or whatever, um, they just make it to where, like, half the enemies have assault rifles. And so, um... Oh, good. And so as long as you have an assault rifle and you keep killing enemies, you pretty much keep getting ammo. Like, I don't- I have not run out of ammo for an assault rifle once this map. This level, shall I say. Because almost all the Flood, like, I don't know, a third of them have one of these? So... Uh, th these and shotguns, actually, they're they're pretty well stocked up on. Which is pretty nice. So, I don't see any reason swapping out an assault rifle because, uh, a battery rifle, if you will. Because it does good job, it, it spins up, it kills, there's just a lot of, a lot of fodder right now. And I need something that just, just spits out ammo, which is what this gun literally does. The blunderbuss, I think, takes too much, it's too much of a risk right now. Uh, high risk, low reward, because... Um, wow, look at all the bullet holes. Because it, it takes too much of your own health, essentially, to, to... I fell down. Well, that's unfortunate. Allow me to walk around and then back up. Somebody's gonna need a stern talking to about the design of this ship. Which it was like a... You know what's annoying, too? In, um... I'm trying to remember which game. One of the games shows like a battle group. And they have a bunch of ships that are just like the uh, Pillar of Autumn. But they like went on a whole rant in the book about how the Pillar of Autumn was like this special, specific, like brand new prototype of a ship that none of the other ones looked like were designed. I can't talk. Were designed like. Uh, and I think, is it four? Four or five is like. Oh, there's a bunch of them. I'm just like, Shh, no, there's not. There sure shouldn't be. Um, they made a whole point that there's not a bunch. If you look at two and three and even reach, the ships don't look like the Pillar of Autumn. The Pillar of Autumn is the only ship that looks like this because it's not a typical ship. It was specially designed. It was like a prototype, experimental type ship with a brand new uh, slip space drive, I believe, is what it actually was. They had a brand new type of, of hyperdrive, pretty much. Um, or something like that, anyway. But it was a brand new ship, anyway. It was supposed to be a research vessel, pretty much. Uh, so it really wasn't like a warship, necessarily. It wasn't like overly armored or, or like protected. It only had the one real like Mac cannon, Mac gun, you know. Um, plus, you know, of course, some turrets, I'm sure. But... It surely wasn't like some kind of great capital ship to take off against the, the war on the Covenant to their home world or anything. It was like a, hey, this is, we we're going to take this, this mission um, to do the things. And um, I guess they were going to take it to like the Outer Rim worlds where, that sounds like, that sounds like uh freaking, I guess the Colony worlds, right? Like the Outer... Anyway, it sounds like Halo 2, or not Halo, it sounds like Star Wars too much, we're talking about Outer World, Outer Rim. Anyway, the Spartans were developed to take down um, terrorists, essentially, like to quell riots among the colonies. 
They were essentially to take out domestic enemies. That was what they were designed for, was to be just this super soldier to go out there and like these, these colonies that were striking out like the outer uh, planets and just put them down and to stop piracy and do that kind of stuff. And then all of a sudden, um, aliens showed up. And so they kind of repurposed and said, hey, go fight aliens. And it was a very quick changeover. Very quick. And uh, so it began, to be honest. Did I get it? Did I get it? Oh no! Hey, I did it too quick. I was not paying attention. All right, cool. Let's do it again, shall we? Because that's what I like to do, is again. And again. And again. Welcome back to the Halo lore chat. Whenever I read the first four... Four books. Um... You know what I never appreciated, though? Like, what I... What I don't understand, it, and, and The Witcher actually does this some as well. I guess just, like, I, I've... I don't know. I don't have sex on the mind a lot. Like, I really don't. I just am very practical and logical and probably too intellectual for my own good as far as where my thoughts are. Like, it, it almost... Like, I'm quick-witted, but sometimes I'm actually slow because I, I don't process that... Like, why they're, like, I don't process that it's supposed to be, like, dirty or a joke or whatever. I'm just like, oh, right, like, of course people think that way. My bad. Um, not that I'm better than anything or anybody or whatever. I'm just saying, like, it's not ingrained in my head to just be like, heh <laughs> all the time. Um, and that being said, like, it's, un I don't understand, like, it's so jarring, almost. Whenever I'm listening to The Witcher, and all of a sudden he goes on about... He takes a character that we've been, like, you know, reading or, or listening, from my case, and all that kind of stuff, and just makes them a, a, a sexual person. Like, and I know that's part of being a, a, a person, like, a, you know, most beings are sexual in nature and, and, and partake in all those things. But it's odd whenever you're reading this fantasy type book and it's like, you know, hey, they're killing monsters and stuff and, and doing this thing. And all of a sudden it's like, um, you know, like they're like, tear the winch's shirt off. And I'm like, hey, that's uncomfortable. Like, I don't like that. I'm not a fan of, of that thought processor type, which I get. I get it. It fits the universe is like, obviously, like the women in the universe don't have rights like because it's, it's supposed to be medieval type fantasy and it's like this society where it's like, hey, she backtalked me, hold her down while I rip her clothes off. And like, that's not okay and I don't appreciate it. And like, again, I get it. It's, it's like talking about, um, you know, like at no point was slavery okay yet you can understand how it existed in the time period and like understand, you know, because of of the way things were, why it happened, doesn't mean you can you have to agree with it or or you know um, approve of it by any means. You know, because it's wrong. Obviously, it always has been. But anyway, um, it just it's weird because like in so in uh, that one what's it New Harvest or New Harvest or whatever the Halo book, um, I don't think it's. I don't remember it being Keys. I don't think it is Miranda Keys. No, it's not Miranda Keys. It's like, because it's early on, it's at Harvest. But it's like the the commanding female and Sergeant Johnson, like, finish their mission and, like, all of a sudden they just, like, get it on. Have, like, a quickie in the cockpit. And I, I, I get it's, like, this expression of... It's, like, this release of emotional, um, like, f energy and, like, this... It's just like this, like, oh, we just survived something, and, like, you're worn out, and you all you want is, like, the endorphins to, you know, like, 
the pleasure and, and just to kind of wash away everything. And I understand that. Like, I, I get it, but it's so bizarre to have this entire book of, hey, we're fighting aliens and stuff, then all of a sudden it's like, and then they looked at each other and started undressing, and it's like, all right. <laughs> and not only is it like a cut to black, but it's like a climbed on top and and started like describing the uh, the actions and I'm like hey I, I don't I wasn't here for this like keep your smut out of my nerd book <laughs> like I'm not I'm not here for this you know it's just it's bizarre I feel like I I'm I'm interested in this world where obviously it's it's the one dimensional aspect is yes there is the Master Chief, this 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 man-made killing machine that just goes from one thing to the next, killing everything that gets him across his path, right? Like, obviously, the, the depth of the person is, does he have thoughts, desires, dreams? How does he feel about things? And I get that. Like, I get that all this stuff, but... In, like, the last, I don't know, two Witcher books, like, it, it, it became less of, like... Like, oh yeah, him and, like, Geralt and, and, uh, and Yennefer just, like, do it. Like, okay, I get it. Like, they're, they're a couple, whatever. But it becomes, like, described, and it gets to be, like, adolescent sexuality, which I find very, very weird and, and not comfortable as a, as a topic, necessarily. Because I don't want to read about it. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to deal with it. Um, it's just strange, like... I don't know. I don't want to spoil anything if people haven't read the books, because I'm sure you probably haven't if I'm referencing this, but uh, it's just like, I don't know, like one of the characters, like they, this dude starts like easing up on her, like, hey, I'll, I'll give you a, a present or whatever, like, and gonna pretty much, I mean, pretty much rape her, like, it, and it's not comfortable at all. And then another girl comes over and like stops him from doing it, but then she starts molesting her and it's just like I this isn't comfortable it was very not comfortable especially in the writing of it like it was I don't want you to describe where her hand goes like can you leave me out of that I, we, I was going I'm here for the story of these characters and how they interact with the world I don't it's like I don't want you to tell me the, about the character going to the bathroom like at no point does that I want that like I understand they do it but no point do I want that in my head or in my book or anything else. And at the same time, again, like, I'm not reading this for smut. I don't want, I'm not looking for that. And I don't enjoy its inclusion in the book because it's just, it's not done in like a, oh, and it was like a happy couple loving whatever. It's, it's very much a almost like a rape scenario and like I you know again it's one that you can understand because of the context of it like the the world that it's built in and it's 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 showing the depth of of depravity of this world and, and how things are and how they're not good but that being said like it just it makes me uncomfortable and maybe that's the point you know it's supposed to get an emotional reaction from the audience but man is it not great to read it just makes me sick like the amount of times that there's like some punks in town and they're just like what if we drag her off to the hay pile and have our way with her we we'll take turns and I'm like that's just not okay in any respect and it's uncomfortable to read or even think about and like it just it's almost like the like, hey, pirates are cool. They're also super rapey, and that's not cool. And it shouldn't be glorified. And I guess it's it's one of those that you can't just whitewash history and like just ignore that it happened because obviously it can and did. But if you're making a fantasy world where you're literally building the universe and can make anything you want in it, why would you choose to put that in it? Right? Like... I guess, and then maybe that's my thing. 
you're making this world. You're the one that's writing this book and, and making it the way that it is. Why would you write it like this? Why do you want to include that? You know? And you're like, oh, that's just the setting. But you made the setting. You could have chosen not to have people be rapey. Like, I, I, and it's 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 actually interesting because they go on point to say like, oh hey, um, the Nilfgaardians like they 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 okay they actually bring up abortion in the book, which is another like very weird step and turn on all this, and it goes into whose like choice it is, and they're like, oh yeah, the advanced. So, like society of, of Nilfgaard, there's no question that it's the woman's choice. And then like, but the groups like you know from the south and like oh, I don't know, or like from they're from the northern kingdoms. I mean, and they're like I don't know. That's that's not you know. It just it's such a bizarre. Like, why are you bringing up these issues in your fantasy world? I guess you're trying to make this like deeper issue for your reader to like think about in this other context, but it just comes across as being very bizarre and like, again, not comfortable. And I guess it's, it's a thing of like trying to make your characters deal with like real world issues. You know, like it can't always just be like smashing some monster. Like there has to be ethical problems and there has to be you know, these things that um, they have to deal with that are that do make you uncomfortable. And that's what gives them the depth and the flavor of the character. But again, I just it's such a bizarre choice. I feel like after you've had these all these books that are just, hey, so and so he he went and he killed things like, OK, and then all of a sudden, oh, yeah, she was. Oh, dear. Like so and so got sick in the morning. She's pregnant. She's trying to decide what she wants to do, keep the baby or not. And like, it's like she asked the doctor for this stuff to make her miscarry. And, and the group's like trying to decide whether to let her have it or not. And she's like, but it's my decision. And the group's like, I don't know. And it's this whole thing. And it makes you very uncomfortable. I don't know. I, I get it's like an adult topic and I get that adults you know it's one of those things that you're just like expected to deal with in your life um, and I'm not trying to avoid any kind of difficult issues because like I've, I've I have opinions I have you know perspective on things that I I could give I guess I just I in general try to avoid conflict because um, not that I want to get along with everyone because I don't intend to get along with everybody I know that I don't and will never get along with everyone but I find it much simpler to live without being uh, like confrontative. Like it's much easier and happier to live without being so vile to others as far as what their beliefs are and what your beliefs are. Like I don't want to push mine on anybody and I don't want them to push theirs on me. I, I, I don't understand where people enjoy yelling about something. I, that's never been me. Like, I'm I'm very passionate about certain things, and like I, but I'm never going to like. I don't want to fight you about it, though. It's my thing. I don't want to fight anybody about anything. I'm not a pacifist by any means. Like, I would de I would I can defend, but I don't generally go on the attack by any means because I don't have any intention of of doing so. I don't know. It's just it's just a very interesting way of. Again, like, I, I'm not an author. Like, I'm not published. I'm not anything like that. However, you know, I, I am creative and I have written some, some various things. And it just makes me wonder, like, if you can write anything, why would you write that? Like, I don't want to write something. And maybe that's the thing is, like, it's, it's if it's not pushing the boundary, if it's not making your reader somewhat uncomfortable, is it really... Is it not just like it just shallow literature that won't that won't be remembered? And maybe that's the thing is since it is tackling these issues, that's what sticks in my head. And that's why I'll remember this series, because it did deal with these tough issues. And it did make me feel uncomfortable over the rapiness of, of the society. You know, I, I it's just it's so bizarre. 
Goodness gracious that all these freaking flood, by the way. Whew. I swear they just respawn, though, because every time I come up here, there's just more of them. Oh, wow, look, they're dead. Great. Here's a D20 frag. Yay. Oh, boy. I don't know if I'm going to leave any of that in or if I'm just going to cut it all out. That was just the musings of my mind and stuff. What I think about. And, yeah. Hey, D20 frags. Nice. Got it. All right, now we're making progress, boys. Hey, I want you to stop shooting me, Sentinels. That would be ideal. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. No, stop shooting me. Big meanies. The good part is that, generally speaking, um, playing this, especially in Legendary, uh, you can only carry enough ammo to do half of it, I believe. So you usually... I don't... I, th I think. You might can carry enough for all... F so there's only, what, four of them? Surely you can carry four rockets. Normally it takes more because you end up missing or, or they hit the shields or whatever. And normally you have to go back to the armory to get more rockets in the middle of all this. The good news about the inconvenient rocket launcher is that while it is extremely inconvenient because you have to fire it backwards and, and you drop it every time you fire it, uh, you don't run out of ammo in it, which is awfully nice. So while it is very inconvenient, it's also uh, not the worst. And I appreciate that about it. Because it could be much worse, and it's not. So I take that as a positive. And really, like, oh, hello. Um, let me swap it real quick. I'll drink. I'll heal up. Get my overshield. And I'll swap out. Excellent. All right. Pardon you. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that won't work. All right, boys, here we go. Finish it off. That should have gotten it, but it sure didn't for some reason. That did it. The engine's gone critical. Based on the current rate of decay, we should have 15 minutes to get off the ship. We don't have much time. We should move outside and signal for evac. Accessing schematics. What? Am I trapped in here? There's a service lift at the top of the engine room. It leads to a class seven service corridor that runs. Am I trapped in here? Hurry. What the heck, game? Oh, what the heck? It trapped me in here. Wow. Where's my checkpoint? Okay. So there's still one left. All right. Okay, game. Game okay. You gotta be quicker than that, apparently, or else it just murders you. So that's good to know. I wonder if that's a legendary thing, where it just, like, closes it back on you, like, immediately. Don't appreciate that. He's right above me. Time to die, little grunt. Oh, pardon. Impolite, sir. I 
At least they kill themselves with shotguns. I like that a lot. I'd much rather them murder themselves than murder me. Hello, sirs! Hello, my baby! Hello, my honey! Hello, my ragtime gal! Alright. It is cheesing 6 p.m. I started this at probably 1 o'clock-ish. After lunch, pretty much. Well, I started the previous mission that early. The previous mission was a real pain! This one's not terrible. Which I appreciate greatly. Do 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 ba do 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 do. Hello, goodbye. Time to die. Why are you alive? That's what I ask myself every day. Ha 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 ha. Jokes. Funny joke. Please blow up. Oh, baby. Oh, I fell off. Ouch. Unfortunate. Excuse me while I now run all the way back up. But hey, I did it, guys. I did it. I did it. The engine's gone critical. Based on the current rate of decay, we should have 15 minutes to get off the ship. We don't have much time. We should move outside and signal for evac. Accessing schematics. There's a service lift at the top of the engine room. It leads to a class 7 service corridor that runs along the ship's dorsal structure. Hurry! Ship's dorsal structure. That's a lot of words there, lady. Oh dear. Okay, well that's a thing. Hey! Pardon you. Sir! Just murder me, why don't you? Cheese and rice. I'm gonna go back for a health pack. I always used to be worried about now because like everything starts blowing up and I'm like, oh no, is the timer already started? But like, surely not. I mean, don't call me Shirley, but like, I doubt it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Ow. Do to do to do do. All right. You sir need to die. I don't like you very much. All right. Do you all mind? Do you people? Do you all mind? Do all y'all? Do all you all? Mm hmm. Oh, look what it is. Thank you. Time to go. Whoo, baby. We making progress. Give me my checkpoint. Checkpoint, 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 checkpoint. Give me that checkpoint. Surely there's a checkpoint. Right? Like, surely, surely there is. I mean, don't call me surely, but like, surely there is. Oh, we on it now, baby. Checkpoint done. We're at the finale. This was always so good. Like this, this sequence right here is so good. Cortana. Things are getting 
Look at this. This abomination right there. I kind of want to try it, but then I'm screwed if it... Like... But we, what we will do, though... We're going to take the abomination, baby. snap what okay frag you know we're gonna try what I want to try just just because let's see if we can do it there's pro this is probably impossible we're gonna try it if I can get a, if I can do this with a three-wheeled freaking warthog oh no Oh boy. This is like the ultimate like easy to flip machine. Gotta be real careful driving this baby. It'll just flip on a dime. Oh, we didn't make it on that. I got it's called the Reliant Warthog because it's super not. Alright, well, here we go. Oh man. I don't know if that's possible. I'm probably just gonna blow up from time. No, jeez, man. Oh, that's funny. That's probably not possible to do it with this, but I'm gonna sure try it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, baby. Oh, the Reliant Warthog. Boy, this three-wheeled baby right here. There is no chance we're going to make it driving this thing. No chance. Oh my god, please. Oh dear. Oh dearie dear. We're still 1.4 kilometers out. Not a chance, my dude. Oh no! Oh, cheese and rice. Oh my gosh. I should have done this with a hoglet. That would have been pretty funny too. Oh my god, they just murdered me. Please go back to... Okay, good. Alright, let me take... Alright, boys. This is it. Here we go! <laughs> you think I'm on foot? <laughs> Au contraire, mon frere. We are in the best vehicle. We are escaping in style. Falling in with style. Oh boy. That really didn't make it, but it's okay. Oh, jeez, that didn't make it either. Oh, no! They're bigger than the Warthog is! Get back in the warthog. Oh, I sure did. As quick as I could. Whee! Oh, man. This thing may not make some of the jumps. I don't know if it can make it. My little RC car Warthog. Boy, it's fishtailing a lot, though, I tell you. I think we are doing better, though, on time, just because it's, it's actually doable. Um, I would love to see video of someone doing this with the Reliant. And in fact, I may do it myself after, uh, on easy, perhaps. Cortana, I've been in the Warthog this whole time, baby. This whole time I've been in the... Oh, God. Shortcut through the middle! This can't possibly go wrong. This is where the uh, dropship... Oh, no, it's not. You got to go to the left here. Got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Freaking snarker. 
When to walk away, know when to run. Don't mind me, guys, just making my way downtown. This is the part where the dropship comes in, I guess. Oh, ho, ho, look at that wheelie. Wee! Oof. Dag nabbit. Oh, death cubes! Wow, do I get to reset this whole thing? Sure do. All right, boys. Um, is this a normal warthog? Welcome to easy mode, boyos. All right, we're doing this because, of course, we are. Oh, this may not be easy either. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try that again. Give me my warthog. We have five minutes before the fusion drive. We have five minutes. Who are you telling that to? Don't be here when it blows. Like, yeah, no, I got it. Can we just... All right, hear me out, guys. This shouldn't work, but can we just, like... Is this a thing? Does this actually work? Will I break the game doing this? Oh... Yep, sure will. Okay, let me uh, let me go down. <laughs> okay, game, game, it's okay. I got you, I got you, fam. We're a little ahead of our previous time, which is good. Um. <laughs> we're actually slower while we're on the ground, like a lot slower than normal warthog. What am I saying? We are the normal warthog. Oh no! That's death. Okay, it wasn't. Good. Come on now. Fly away. Let's fly, let's fly away. Let's fly away. Oh boy. Come on down. No, no, no. Don't climb the wall. Please go down. Here we go. Man, they sure didn't make it easy, did they? <laughs> in, any, in any of these war dogs. I really want to try the Reliant all the way, but I don't think it's possible on Legendary. I think they would kill you every time you fall out. Which is, you know, every turn, essentially. Here we go. Come on, get off the ground. Ugh. I'm sure you guys have the best view of this. And by that, I mean I have the same view and it's not great. Here we go. Time to shine. Straight across. No problemo. Okay, slight problem. No problemo. All right. Down we go. All right. Doing well. Almost there. I say from no reason at all, because we're, well, we're, we're less than a kilometer. Loading is done. Just bracing our head on the ceiling a little bit. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on, baby. Hello, baby. Hello, my honey. Making our way. Is this where the ship comes through? The dropship? Yep, sure is. Hey, what's up, dropship? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Stop. Faux hammer should be just about here. Or whatever. This is gonna that, that jump. This is gonna be really weird. Oh, no wait. This is where Faux Hammer is coming to pick us up. Okay, I'll wait. I wanna see the flap flaps. Oh, 
Rip. She's gone. She's gone. Calculating alternate escape route. Ship's inventory shows one longsword fighter is still docked in Launch Bay 7. If we move now, we can make it. Okay. Wow, a minute 20, huh? Uh, let's see about that. <laughs> I don't know. We had to go to what? A hundred and it's 1.2 kilometers. It's like what? 60 kilometers a second. Ow. Not 60 kilometers. It's 60 kilometers an hour to go. I don't know. I'm trying to math in my head, but I'm also trying to fly this stupid thing. Eh. 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 Oh boy. This is uh not going as well as we might thought it would have. Cuz all the speed is when this thing is flying and on the ground it has essentially none. Oh dear. Oh dear, dear. 23 seconds. We're going to die. That's not enough. We're not going to make it. Ow! My warthog. We're going to blow up in two seconds. One. Zero. Wow. All right. Well, that failed as well. Let's go with the abomination. If this doesn't work, we'll do the hoglet. I was going to keep rotating vehicles until we finally make it. Oh boy. Man, this Oh no, we didn't uh we didn't get the easy path, did we? Now we got to do this with long boy. Oh boy. Long boy. All right, ladies, let's be real. Having something Oversized is not always good. It's pretty difficult to control. Well, we're doing better on time than most attempts. I hate that the normal Warthog was so slow on the ground. Like, it's it's almost unusable because of how slow it is while it's on the ground. And, and like, you can't stay in flight. Because if you push uh, jump to make it fly, you almost come to a complete stop to do so. So to maintain your speed, you have to just aim it up. But it's once you're on the ground, you pretty much have to push jump to make it leave the ground. So it's really just not an ideal pick for this last uh, section here. So that's unfortunate. But you know how it goes. You know how it be. Ow. Here we go. I have this route essentially memorized of where to go from all the times that I did this when I was young. Er, I know, I know, I'm, I'm still young, but anyway, younger. When I was a wee lad playing Halo and killing aliens and telling my mom, no, no, it's okay, it's it's alien blood. It doesn't count as blood, it's alien blood, it's different. I'm, I'm not being turned into a killing machine by any means or or made into a killer or some type of psychopath. It's, it's aliens, I can tell the difference, mom. Oh, geez. Now I gotta do this again. Trying to weave between, get a good uh, motion of the ocean going, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, hey, here's that cool part again with the dropship right overhead. We. Well, we're doing a lot better, I would say. We were like at a minute 20 right now. Or something, I don't know. I know we definitely finished this section at, at a minute 20. Echo 419. Echo 419! Cortana to Echo 419! She's gone. She's gone. Calculating alternate escape route. See, we got way more time. This We had a whole, like, minute more than before. I see now why there's no checkpoints in this whole run. You just gotta start over, because if you screw up, you'd be stuck with a checkpoint where you can't even make it. Kind of what I expected. 
But you know how it goes. Ow! It singed my armor. Don't worry, the scratches will buff right out, guys. The actual creator of this mod, like, put up a video of the longest Warthog ever, of just how how far he could push his modding capabilities to make the longest Warthog ever made, and it it, it is genuinely insane and incredibly impressive. Uh oh. Oh dear. Don't hit me. Okay. I was real scared there for a second. Will we make this jump though? Yes. <laughs> Barely. But anyway, that video is crazy badass, and you should look it up. Um, or I'll put a link in the description if I remember to do it, which I probably won't. Because this won't get posted until like a month after I record it. I actually remember dying here a bunch. Because it was actually not easy. How about a frag? Hey, we did it! We beat the Gers Halo! Woo! Shut them down. We'll need them later. Fancy look. Thank you guys so much for watching the series. Hopefully you watched the whole thing. It's been a wild ride from the beginning. Um, I definitely wanted to show off this mod. I'm, I'm a lifelong Halo fan. Well, up until Halo 4. Uh, I don't appreciate what 343 did with the series. But anyway, I love the Halo series. I grew up on it. I played them. I beat most of them on Legendary. Um, they were, dare I say, a way of life for a long time. And having seen it modded to the point of Cursed Halo, it was like a revival of my childhood game. And I was so excited to play it. And I actually watched a full playthrough before I ever played it. And so I said, you know, since I've watched a full playthrough, I won't have near as many reactions of, oh my God, what is that? Like, as you would on a blind playthrough. So I said, well, let's do it on Legendary to make it interesting and unique. And by God, it was. And I dare say in some ways, much more difficult. And in some ways, not nearly as difficult because again, Things like snarkers just murder you. However, you could roll a d20 and get a invisibility and just walk past enemies. So I think that was probably the most unique experience I've ever had in a game. Having one that I have essentially memorized um, every single level to the point that uh, you know I can run them in and out without even... Uh, needing a guide or anything to know where to go. I, I, I know where everything is. I know the, the missions well. Because that's all. That's, I played it so many times when I was younger. And for it to have a new take on that same formula, but just made it play differently. And that was something special. So, huge shout out to the mod creator. I've put the mod info in the description of every video. Hopefully, many people support you and love to see what else you do. Um... I don't know if you can top Cursed Halo or if you're planning on a Cursed Halo 2 or anything else, but if you do, I'll sure play it. Um, I'm considering making a Monday series of just some of my favorite games modded 
and I don't have a super gaming PC, but it ran this game okay enough. So I'm hoping that uh, we can mess around with some modded games and, and kind of see what comes of it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Um, we'll have some more interesting gameplay. And of course, my series Onward Into Darkness is a scripted series. It's pretty interesting. And then we've also got some Final Fantasy stuff uh, rolling out that is kind of D&D. &D. So if you're into that, uh, check it out. Thank you guys again. I'm Alec, your host. Uh, Keeper Alec, if you will. And I'll catch you guys next time. See you later.